A great fitting bra is the secret to looking and feeling amazing. So I'm gonna share with you the bras and things fit guidelines to help you find the perfect fit for you. First of all, check that you have the bra done up on the first hook. This will extend the life of your bra as the material will gradually stretch with wash and wear. You can move on to the next hook to keep the back of the bra firm. Now I'll take you through an easy three-step checklist. Step one, the back. First, make sure the back band follows a horizontal line across your body. The back should sit at the same level as your cups at the front. If it rides up at the back, you know you'll need to go down a back size. Check how firm your bra is against your body by running your fingers underneath the back of the band right through to the underarm. You should be able to comfortably fit two fingers under the band. This should be firm, but comfortable. Not too tight or too loose. Remember, if you've been wearing a bra too loose around the back, the correct band size will obviously feel tighter. So bear this in mind when thinking about how it feels. Check that the band sits snug enough to provide you with the support without the straps on. The band should provide you with at least 80% of the support. And now for the complicated part, pay attention. If you need to go down a band size, but the cup fits well, you'll actually need to change the cup size letter to keep the same size cups. The seesaw rule is a good way to remember how to change cup sizes. Down in a band, up in a cup. Up in a band, down in a cup. To avoid worrying about the seesaw rule, always get the band right first, then look at the cup size. Step two, the straps. First, adjust the straps to a firm but comfortable length. Check the shoulder straps by running your fingers along the inside. The strap should not be too loose that they slip off or too tight that they leave marks. The strap should provide approximately 20% of the support. Step three, the cups. First, check the underwire on both sides. The correct positioning of the underwire is probably the most important part of the perfect fit. The underwire must sit against the chest exactly where the breast flesh finishes. Different styles of bras can have different sized and shaped underwire, so pay particular attention to this. Make sure the sides of the bra are not too high under the arms and that the center is not being significantly pulled away from the chest. If the center is being pulled away from the chest, the cup sizes could be too small. It is vital to check both underwires as some of us will have one side fuller than the other. Next, check the cups. The cups should be completely filled. No wrinkling material and no gaps between the material and you. There should be no overflow of flesh on the top of the cups, over the sides, or at the bottom. Wrinkle cups mean the cup size is too large, overflow means the cup size is too small. If the cups still don't feel right, you might want to try a different style. Some styles work better with different body shapes. You might have noticed this already if you've already settled on your favorite style of bra. It's probably the best style for your shape. Now, the most important part. How does it feel? You're the only one who can judge the comfort of a bra. So move around and strike a few poses. If it looks good and feels good, it is good. Remember, bras and things have been fitting specials for over 25 years and carry Australia's largest range of fashion lingerie. The fitting service is designed to ensure you feel comfortable at all times. Your bra measurements can be taken over a thin layer of clothing and the highly trained team will assess the fit using the same steps that I've just taken you through. So if you need any assistance, the Friendly Bras and Things team are always there to help you find the perfect fit.